morning, everyone! Welcome to the 2020 Top 10 Celebration and Parade. Let's start it off with a few ho uh, horn honks. Let's hear it! Honk your horn if you're happy for these seniors! I just have a few words for our seniors, our top ten. Uh, just want to say thank you for one, for persevering in this hard time, this hard, difficult time. More than that, I want to read just a few words. I believe it is human nature for us to plan our future out. Many of you have been doing it since kindergarten. We think about what we need to do, what we would like to accomplish, and we go about the task of chasing our dreams. In fact, we are taught from a very early age to make plans for our future. When something, maybe it's the wind, when something comes along and interrupts our plans, we all have uh, our choice on how to deal with it. We can either let the distraction derail us from our goals, or we can get back up and recenter and focus on reaching our goals. Unless you are more than 100 years old, no one here today has ever experienced a global pandemic like we have this spring. This event has caused Schools to close, businesses to close across America, depriving each of you of what you had planned to do in the final months of your senior year. When plans fail, we tend to become stressed out. Often we may lose hope and become frustrated. That frustration can lead to anger and dismay, and it is quite possible for us to allow our lives to get totally off track. The one thing I believe keeps us from losing our way most often is something that each of us are able to rely upon. While it may be a foreign concept to some, some completely embrace this idea. An idea that those who remain steadfast with their dreams and goals are most likely to possess this one very characteristic trait. What is it? It's faith. Faith can be defined as believing in something that is not proven something unseen yet experienced. Faith is the only thing that can fully relieve us of our stress when life takes a turn in an unexpected direction and tension and anxiety begin to emerge. Faith can subdue and put to rest all of our fears, if only we will allow it to do so. I hope that each of you have placed faith as an implement within your toolkit for your life. It will be there for you during the monumental events during the monumental events that come along in life, and you may also apply it to the most mundane, everyday, simplistic interruptions with your life. In either event, we are blessed to receive the same relief through the simple act of applying our faith while pursuing our life goals and dreams. I am so proud of each and every one of you for not allowing this pandemic to define you. I would like to commend and congratulate each of you for your focus, your dedication, your grit and your success in becoming a top 10 graduate for the class of 2020. God bless you and best wishes for a very bright future. Let's hear it for our senior top 10. I do want to make one formal announcement, a uh, little bit of housekeeping here. As we depart, and you are welcome to hang out, say hello to one another as long as we practice our social distancing. However, you may have come in a different way. I'd like for everyone to depart out onto the feeder road instead of going back into town so that you can drive past our marquee. And you can rest assured if during the 30 seconds you drive past you don't see your, your picture up there, it is rolling and scrolling all day, every day between now and graduation. So congratulations to the top 10 students of 2020. Now you'll hear from the president of our school board, Mr. Augustine Laredo III. Good morning, everybody. How are y'all doing today? I am so excited for you graduates. But I'll tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm really excited for are your parents. How about that? Let's give our parents a round of applause. I'll tell you what, why stop there? Let's give our teachers a round of applause. I'm going to tell you that it's very important. Very important. Thank it's you. very important, for you guys, to know that you are living history right now. You are going through one of the events that when you're, 80, when you're 80, you'll be telling your grandkids about this moment. 
I want to tell you that I know you're upset about a lot of things like graduation and you're upset about virtual graduation, but wait till we have, wait till you see what we have in store for you in July. I want to tell you that I, we are so proud of you and all your accomplishments and your teachers are so upset because they're not here to see you. My, when my daughter this morning, I went to drop her off at work. She works at a, at a rehabilitation center on Rolling Brook. She's a senior this year. She got to, a little visit from one of her teachers this week and was very, very excited and happy. And the teacher was very excited and happy. And I can tell you right now, as a high school teacher, I am missing my students and I'm very excited and happy when I see them on social media, on Twitter, through our school district website, across the, the ship channel over there. But I'm, I'm very, very happy that you guys accomplished what you did. Go out into the world and, and know that you survived this challenge. Go out into the world and go to the universities and the colleges and the military and the workforce and know that you are able to survive any challenge because of what you were able to accomplish today and accomplish this year. Thank you guys for making our district proud of you. Thank you for being a beacon and a bright spot in our school district. And please remember what Ms. Dr. O'Brien said, drive through the front and drive often. Drive all the time and see your picture all the time. Take pictures, put it on Facebook, put it on Twitter, put it on Snapchat so that people know what you were able to do and the teachers and the principals and everybody else knows what you accomplished this year. Thank you so much and God bless you all. You're being recognized today through this parade. I hope you felt the love as you passed through the mall's parking lot as we're assembled here at Central Office. But we will also be honoring you Monday night at the board meeting virtually. Uh, you will get to see just a glimmer of what will happen with virtual graduation as we honor each one of you, the top ten, on Monday night. It won't be exactly the same PowerPoint presentation, but you'll see a little bit of what it'll feel like as you go through graduation. Many of you as students know that we've sent you the template. You've got to put your touch and your accent on the uh, graduation flash drive. So we're thankful for your participation, and we look forward to celebrating and honoring you even more. Beyond Monday night, as Mr. Laredo referred to, we have more plans for July. And the district has taken some criticism for not spelling out exactly what we're doing. I would just uh, take a moment to remind everyone we're in the middle of a pandemic. We don't know what tomorrow holds, much less a month from now or two months from now. And I recognize that every school district in the state of Texas and throughout our nation has to make the decision that's best for them. We're trying to do that in such a way that we never forget to honor our students, every single one. And uh, so the celebration in July, more details will be coming. Uh, you should see them on our website, and you should read it in our local newspaper. So thank you so much for coming here to let us honor you. Thanks for dressing up. I see a lot of, a lot of kids dressed up. Nice. So thank you for being here today. And this concludes our parade and celebration of the top 10 for the class of 2020. Thank you all so very much. Proud parents, proud grandparents. We're proud of you students. Thank you so very much.